subscribe to automation studio channel and press on bell icon to get new notification video hello guys welcome to automation studio uh, in this video we are going to see how to use uh, apm desktop app um, and how to inspect our elements using ios and android app uh, so let's start with this <coughs> So I do have uh, already installed my APM desktop, okay. And uh, how to install it on Mac? So in order to know that, you can refer my earlier videos. And uh, here is my uh, simulator for iOS, uh, that is iPhone X 11.2. So how to install uh, Xcode and simulate in your machine? So again, you can go ahead and watch my earlier videos for that, okay. So once you will set up your machine with these two things, then you will be good to go. Okay. So obviously, if we have to uh, start with our automation, we need an app, right? So I will first show you with, for the iOS. So I have these two apps. One is for iOS, one is for <clears throat> Android. Okay. So, okay. So now let's start with this APM desktop. So <clears throat> what is the version we are using here first? Very important. So this is the APM version we are using 13131. Okay. So I have upgraded with the 1.3.2 also, but there were some issues with that. So that's why I just uh, you know downgrade to 131. Okay. Okay, when when you will launch this APM desktop version, then you will be having the couple of options here like host and port number. Yeah, the default one will be 0000, which is localhost, and here port is 4723. Okay, 4723 is a default port for APM. So, in interview question, they can ask you, like, what is the default port for the APM? Then you can say that like, it's 4723, but you can set uh, configure your port as per your convenience okay means you can change the port also so if you want you can change port here and you can change your host also here and then accordingly your appim server will start working on that make sure port should be free where you want to run okay so let us start with this once you will click on that button then uh, the appim server should start in this way so the welcome message with uh, Mm, the listener started on this uh, host and port okay so there are three buttons like one is the download log button so whatever the log you will be able to see in the console that will get downloaded in the form of .txt file okay and this is the inspector button and this is a stop server button. if you will stop here the apm server will stop okay okay <clears throat> so let's we are interested in the inspector so let's click on inspector button okay so here is our inspector button oh sorry inspector screen okay so we have a couple of options here so we have custom server we have source lab we have test object integration but we are now in this tutorial we are going to talk about the automatic server option only so we have to suppose like our apm server is running in our local machine and now we are going to use it as a, for the inspect inspecting the app okay so now for the let's come to the desired capability first okay so we have uh, first app so let's uh, uh, go to app and uh, take the full path okay so okay so i will copy it so we have the capability called app okay in this capability we have to define what is your uh, complete path okay absolute path of your app so you have to provide this full path exact path okay so that it's going to install in your device right so which app you want to install in your device so you have to mention here right another interesting <coughs> capability is your device uh, name okay on which device you want to run uh, or install your app so device name is my iphone x okay so, but you, but uh, the right way is, uh, let me clear it and show you again. Open your terminal and type this command instruments minus s devices. What it will give you? It will show you all the available uh, devices in your machine. 
okay which are nothing but simulators okay so just click on that uh, sorry just enter and it will show you like i have the iphone x on 11.2 and within that this id is also there so let let me just uh, first uh, enter this one and then i will tell you about that also so this is about my device name okay it might be possible like i could have the two iphone x 11.2 or running simultaneously on my machine then uh, how my code and how my script knows like on which iphone x 11.2 i want to install this app <clears throat> okay in order to do that there will be one unique uh, device id okay available here so you can copy here so for this device this is the unique uri id uri id means uri for unique d for device id means identifier okay so I just copy here. Oh, sorry, paste here. Okay. So these these three things are defined like your app, your device, your device ID. Okay. Now the two things is required is one is <clears throat> automation name. Okay. So what automation name is? As part of the new changes for the iOS side uh, for uh, about the IBM is like they have come up with the XUID. Uh, framework now okay so for that they have defined automation name capability in order to deal with the ios devices it should be xeui test okay you have to mention this capability so that they can understand like okay uh this script has to be run with the xuid framework okay and another is <clears throat> platform name okay so as we know like uh, uh so let me imagine here first uh, wait for iOS, okay so, and start session so as we know like uh, apm is uh, supporting multiple platform android and ios so we need to explicitly mention here like on which platform our our script is going to run okay so these two capabilities also important so your app your device name your uri id uh, your automation name as well as your platform name okay if you will define this five capability, you will be able to start your APM inspector. Okay, so this is how it will uh, launch your APM inspector. Okay, so so let's start with this menu. So this is the select element menu. So if you by default it will be selected, so that you can mouse over on that and it will start inspecting. Okay, recognizing the elements. See, if you click on that, it will show you this all the property of this mobile element. Okay, okay. Now it's a, it's a start recording button. It's a search for element button, and then it's a quit session. Okay, so we'll discuss on these two. So first, uh, the interesting point is like just click on any uh, element, and here. Uh, the relative actions as per to this element will appears get appears so you can tap on this element okay even send keys is applicable for input type but you can't clear a button right you can just do an action of tap okay if you will perform here tap it will tap on that particular button let's try with that tap see and it should gets executed in this device see it is now load now logging doing the login <coughs> and the particular screen will get automatically refreshed okay it's not totally refreshed see but uh, you need to explicitly refresh from here so let's uh, talk about these find by strategies and attributes so here are the attributes and here are the find by strategies okay so <coughs> we have id and we have xpath here <coughs> so i want to ensure like it's it, it it should work or not so let's copy it and then click on this uh, search icon and uh, it's xpath so drop down select xpath and just paste over here and then search over here so it's showing like they have find uh, one element just click on that element and it will get get highlighted here it could be possible like multiple element can be find okay so here it will show you like how many elements uh it's going to find by your 
this x path strategy so only one element is available on this screen so that is perfectly fine okay and here you can tap on that and uh, this action can you can perform with this element okay so go back so now i'm interested in id okay so id what is id here id here is login so let's say login and just search that so login id will be also, also work see okay so whatever you want you can use it but id strategy is very fast as per as compared to xpath so always suggested if id is available you should use id but make sure like id should be unique okay so that's how you can uh, verify like your id is unique or not within that screen okay perfect now the question comes to the attribute so how to use these attributes suppose <clears throat> where you don't have id you have the very clumsy and lengthy xpath okay then how you will use these attributes okay so let's talk about that so you have the name you have class name you have uh, accessibility id so many things you have here right so uh, you can use the name as login also see right you have the name over here so you have used the name over here okay and you have the class name over here but class name is not uh, you know its class name is nothing but this button so x u i d element uh, type button you can use that also this is a type this is a class name only <coughs> you can use that but <coughs> that is not suggested suggestible because the class is very vast within the page so many elements can be using the same same class okay okay so uh, let's <clears throat> talk about how to use the different uh, attributes okay which is not listed here so you can use it with the help of xpath itself okay so uh, let's suppose i want to use label okay and uh, the label is unique so i can say a star means for any uh, element type okay and then i should say at the rate uh, label and then a label should uh, login okay and let's search so it is able to identify the element here one element okay let's see yes okay so like that uh, if you want to use the attribute you can uh, construct your x path okay and you can identify like the strategy is perfectly working fine or not so you no need to try on your scripts so this inspector will provide you a mechanism to search and find an element here itself okay perfectly fine so <clears throat> now what uh, we are going to see is start recording okay click on that start recording it will give you this couple of option to convert your script into this language okay let it be java j unit and then you have the clear action you have copy code so just select the login button okay and then click on tap option so see i have clicked on uh, the client button label at the rate level is equal to login okay and here also by id login and i have clicked on this particular element element of click okay so let me refresh it once okay so now it is yeah setting so here i am looking for this button setting so setting is here so this uh the id is setting so let's tap on this so everything is recording here see so what i'm going to do i'm just going to log in and uh, tap on settings and then tap on logout that's it simple okay settings see so it has done that okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to tap on logout so see logout so I just tap action okay it's rendered now click on that so sorry confirm right so name is equal to confirm right 
so you can say name and here confirm okay oh so okay here also confirm is there right so there are a lot of con pre confirm is showing previously also there will be some confirm is there right so that is could be a bad approach so <clears throat> so say name okay and uh, cancel so you can use you can use this strategy okay so see by this only we are able to identify like how many elements could be positive could be possible at the time of running our script so now there is only one so tap element done that's it so now it will get added here see so like that you can construct your uh, you know a script so just i will copy and i can you know copy here mm. Control V. So this is my script, and then I can filter it, right? Whatever the unnecessary steps I have done, I can just just remove it out and include in my IPM script, and I can use. It. Should hundred percent, it should work. Okay. <clears throat> so this is how you can you know use this inspector very, and from here you can stop it. By the way, pause recording. So this is how you can use the inspector. Okay. So uh you can go ahead and you can explore it from your own and uh, i hope this video will be helpful for you because uh, for the beginner level of uh, candidates uh, this is very essential to know how to use this uh, ui uh, inspector for the ios app and all <clears throat> so yeah i if you find like this video is helpful for you so please comment on the comment box and subscribe my channel for the new upcoming videos and uh, uh, goodbye